That's a beauty, bud. That's a nunchuck pack right there, bud. Guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. I'm out here at Rustic Canyon. This was uh, voted the best value in the country, uh, best golf course for the price. And I'll be playing Hogan Icon Irons, all Hogan clubs and Quantix golf balls, which are also the best value in the country. And get another 10% off with code my swing evolution. So I start out with a solid poke right up the middle, but you know, not Love very it. far, probably 250 ish. That's oh, gorgeous. Oh, now, Workman is long, and so is my buddy Joel. They both hit it a mile. So on the second hole, catch it a little off the heel, but I mean, it only oh. goes like 235. Little short dinks right now. Yeah, loosen up. Short dinks. I'm stuck with a hybrid in rather than a seven iron like when I drive the ball well. It's gonna work. Ah, it's close. So at this point, I'm starting to realize I'm just steering the ball and I'm not using my legs properly. Dang. Cowboy. And I'll be honest, my buddies, they hit the ball really far, and, and I don't want to hit a little ball dinker there. out there when I'm playing with Joel and Workman, you know, because, you know, they, they hit the ball like men. I don't want to hit a little BB out there. On the ninth hole, once again, hit it right in the middle, but I've got four iron in when I normally have seven iron in. Okay, I'm going to do this technique I haven't done in like seven years called the Elvis legs, and uh, let's go see if it works. That's poundage. Come on, no! That is long. So here on the back nine, I decide to start breaking out my Elvis legs. Here I'm just trying to get that left hip back out of the way. I made a video about this in 2013, but I kind of forgot all about it until this morning. But uh, today I really needed something to get me going. I had already done it once on the 10th hole and hit a perfect drive. So here I am on the 11th tee box and perfect. There's a good swing. There you go. Getting some, little, getting some popping in these now. Dude, I got the Elvis legs working right now. Swayze's? <laughs> Swayze's, dude. This is my jam right here. Blue suede shoes in it right now? Dude. Like, like, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> a perfect golfer dance. It is a golfer dance. I'm about to dance this right in the hole. So the 12th hole is a drivable par four, about 285 over a bunch of garbage. And I figure I'm gonna go for it. Ooh. Nah, it's a beauty, bud. That's a nunchuck hack right there, bud. Yeah, that one's just funny. Well, I ended up driving the green for an easy two putt birdie. But the Elvis legs turned out to be a great little thing that I worked on and, and got me going in the right direction. I ended up uh, playing great. I three putted the ninth hole for a 37 one over par, but the swing is feeling good. I'm starting to have a lot of fun out there. Hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Guys, golf shouldn't have to be so hard. The problem is information overload. There's so much info out there, it's like, trying to build a race car by going to a junkyard and grabbing spare parts off of every old clunker. It's just not going to work. I wanted to have a great golf swing, so I narrowed my focus and just studied the swing of Ben Hogan. And guess what? It worked. Today I'm one of the best golfers at my club. My swing evolution has over 20 million views. 
And I even got to play Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel. So if you want to become a great ball striker, go to MySwingEvolution.com, pick up the MSE Golf System, and start your swing evolution today. Hit them long and hit them straight.